Hello friends, welcome back. We are going to see something very interesting and important as well. It's OSI layers and the corresponding cyber threats and attacks connected to it. We know what all the OSI layers, we know the functionalities of it, but what each layer is all about when it comes to the cyber threats and attacks, what are the vulnerabilities that can be connected to these kind of layers is what we are going to discuss in this session and it's going to be very interesting and fast. Well, Let's go through this picture. This one picture is going to give you the complete perspective of what it is. We start with physical layer and we go on till the application layer and this is how we have been learning all this time. Physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation and application. My teacher told me when I was a student that please do not touch Steve's pet alligator and you can remember the layers easily through that and you could try that as well. Well, what is physical layer all about? Physical layer is all about physical cabling and it transmits bits over the medium and it provides the electrical specs. That's it. What are all the possible threats, attacks, all those things connected to this layer? It is mostly related to environmental threats, the dust, water and more carelessness that the person is handling it. So I have a lot of carelessness. I handle it with water in hand. I handle it with coffee cup in hand. It's all going to be very difficult there. So it's more of your care that you are paying, your attention that you are paying towards maintaining a proper work environment. That's all. So next is data link layer where we have the L2 switches and bridges coming into picture. Here the bits are, get, bits are getting organized into frames and the next layer is network layer where L3 switches and routers are used and here predominantly routing and source to destination packet moment is taken care of. Now the first layer is about physical cabling and transmission of bits happen over there. The second layer we have L2 switches and bridges where the bits that are given in the first layer are taken forward further and they are organized as frames and next layer is L3 switches and routers which are coming into picture and there we have routing happening very clearly. And the layer 2 and layer 3 we have got multiple threats possible, multiple attacks possible in that layer, address spoofing, IP smurfing, misconfiguration. Yes, when the person who is configuring it, the system administrator essentially, or the person who is handling it, uh, provisioning guy, all those people have to be extremely careful in case of misconfiguration, it can lead to trouble as well. And the firmware has to be updated quite often as and when the updates are given by the company which is manufacturing it, please go ahead for the firmware update and do not deny it or delay it, it's going to be a problem. The weak or default passwords is seen as one of the major concerns and major areas through which the attackers can come in. So for L2 and L3, it's IP smurfing, address spoofing, misconfiguration of the devices, firmware updates and importantly passwords are all the reasons and are all the chances for somebody to attack you. The fourth layer is nothing but transport layer which is done absolutely with the TCP and UDP and end-to-end -end connections are ensured through this TCP and UDP. Well, we have got two attacks possible here. One is RIP attack which is routing information protocol which is almost obsolete and the next one is SYN flooding. This is something very interesting and SYN flood if you call it, uh, it is a form of denial of service attack in which the attacker will rapidly initiate a connection to a server without finalizing the connection. Remember it, the server has to spend resources waiting for half open connections and which can consume enough of resources to make the system unresponsive to the legitimate traffic. This is a major problem and this is one of the most important things that you got to know. The next layer is session layer where SQL, RPC, NFS are coming into picture and the main responsibility is to establish, manage and terminate the sessions. Next layer is the presentation layer which is sixth. Uh, JPG, MP, EG, PNG are the formats. Here it is more about formatting the data, encryption, translation and compression. All these things come into picture. And the last layer is application layer. FTP, SMTP, SFTP, more protocols we must be learning and all those protocols coming into picture in this particular layer and this layer allows you to access the resources. So what are all the things, what are all the attacks and threats that can come here? Viruses, ransomware, worms, malware, keyloggers, botnets, ARP spoofing, spyware, man and middle attack, cache poisoning, DNS redirections and many many more. So. I have, I, have, I have divided it into four different uh, kinds of attacks for the layer one. We have got the environmental related things. Layer two and layer three, I mentioned some attacks. Layer four, RIP attack and SYN flooding. Layer five, six and seven together has got a vast range of attacks that are possible. So be careful there. I hope this particular page has given you an insight about what are the kinds of attacks and how is it connected to each of these voice I layer and I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer them. If you like the channel and the content, kindly subscribe. Thank you.